Why did you write this book? I wrote this book because after years of documenting and sharing stories about the experiences of African women's sexualities, you know, I felt like, especially in, in Western media, whenever we were portrayed, we were portrayed in a very limited way. You know, so if you think of a Guardian like story, it will be on FGM or you know another major major platform will be about specifically African women. Yeah, I okay, feel like whenever okay. African women were portrayed, you know, especially in Western media, when it came to like our reproductive health, it was just always very limited. We were either constantly pregnant, we were miserable, mm. you know, um, we didn't have access to sanitary towels, and mm. I was just like. Mm. We have so much more going on for us when it comes to the whole area of sex, sexualities, and reproductive health. And I thought, I want to write a book, and my initial goal was to interview a woman from each country on the African continent, you know, and show people that our experiences are really, really varied, and there's lots of fun, freaky things that happen in our bedrooms as well. No, We're not just dope. miserable. Dope. This book, The Sex Lives of African Women, is made up of stories individual stories of different people from all backgrounds and, and all that. How many years did it take you to put together this 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 book? I, I know you might have said it, said it somewhere. Five. But I really want to know. Five? Yeah, she yeah said, it took five yeah. years. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. And I have to say, it's not like five full-time years, right? Because I was working. I was like living yeah, my so life. You were, it was just the, over the, a period the, of time. Yeah. 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 Did any of the stories, I don't know how you gathered these stories, whether you met them, whether you made them some people send their I, stories. Some, no, 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 nobody sent their stories. Everybody mm. I interviewed. Oh. Some people I met face-to-face and interviewed them face-to-face. There was a portion I did during the pandemic, so those were all on Zoom. Zoom. Whenever I traveled to a new country, I would make a point of trying to find someone to interview. So, for example, when I went to Sao Tome on holiday which is a Portuguese-speaking country. Yes, I mean, I, I, deserve, <laughs> I deserve all the good things in life, you know. The tour guide was English-speaking, and I said to him, do you know any South Tomian woman who would be willing to speak to me about their sex life? And he introduced me to a friend, and I interviewed her. Mm. So I just took advantage, even if I went to a conference, you know, and maybe yeah. I'll meet somebody from Mali. I'll be like, oh, Mali, when am I going to get an opportunity to interview someone from Mali? I didn't end up interviewing that woman from Mali, unfortunately. Mm. 